Yes, entertainment. Hi, this is Shelda Smith of Shelly S Entertainment and Simba NYC TV is at the 46th Annual International African Arts Festival. And I'm here with the band British Dependents. I'll be honest, we missed their performance, but, I, but the response that I've gotten, it was good. And you guys are from Anguilla? I'm from Brooklyn, Guyanese descent. But I've been to Anguilla a lot of times throughout my career with British Dependency. So you know what? You know what I'll do? I'll go down the line. So we're going to start with you. Your name and where you're from, and then we'll get to talk a little bit about the band. All right, I'm Spuddy Roots from Brooklyn, Guyanese Jamaican. Yeah. Ishmael Levi, British Dependency lead singer, Guyanese Brooklyn. And I'm Jaden, the drummer for the band. Um, Sing Kit and William. <laughs> Ross Marvin, bass, guitar, from Anguilla. So how did you all get together? You're from Brooklyn, you're from Brooklyn. You're, how, how did this come about? Um, interesting thing. Um, hit mutual friends, right? And then um, we had the opportunity to actually link up with Ishmael. And from there we linked up with Marvin. So it just, it just a cohesive, yeah, just connected like out of the blue. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the music. Um, a little bit of everything, mostly reggae influence, but um, you're looking at calypso, soca, reggae, hip hop, um, rock, anything, anything you want, we got it. So you're going back to Anguilla? Yes, we are. Tomorrow, first thing in the morning. <laughs> back to Anguilla. Can we? Can we? <laughs> yes, I. So how can we follow you? You can follow us um, on Instagram or Facebook uh, at British Dependency. You can find us on BritishDependency.com. Uh, you can find us on iTunes, uh, Spotify, uh, Google Play. You know everything, everything that you can find music on. You can find our music there. We have a new project out called Red. So I want you guys to check that out. And we can check out some of the videos on, on YouTube? Yes, you can. Amazing event. All right, put your hands together for Gary Nesta Pine and the Love Generation Band. Make some noise. Can't control it. That's why they're always trying.
person. I'm standing here with Gary Nesta Pine. I'm gonna have to tell you all a bit of a story. I was sent his music maybe about a week ago. A week and a half. A week and a half ago. <laughs> yeah, greetings. This is me. This was this was fate. Destiny. Of course. Of course. We're glad, we're glad for that. Yes. What's a good introduction? <laughs> face to face. You know? and we, and we, we need to give a shout out to the man who linked this all. Firewire. Yeah, man. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. Yeah, man. Big up, Firewire. Yes. My brethren from longer days, from Wheeler's days. Wheeler's days, you know? Loved your performance. You know I love that song, Wall Street. <laughs> Mr. Wall Street. Yeah, man. Strong thing, you know, because we try to stay with reality. Not too much fantasy, you know? Yes. You fantasize too much, then you lose. It's all sense of reality. So we stay real. When we are coming with the album, we stay real. You know? Yeah, I agree. Um, as usual, so that people can follow you. Give us your social media info. Uh, GaryNestaPine.com um, NestaPine social media. Gary Nestapine social media. Um, Instagram. Just type in my name, I use to me. Um, my own website, GaryNestaPine.com, uh, Twitter, Instagram, all them grams. <laughs> all the grams. All the grams. Thank you so much yeah, for your time. And you, you're still going to come on Simba. Say again? You're still going to come and be on Simba NYC TV. We need to sit down. Well, if, I'm, if I get an official invitation, yes, I will come. If not, I'll be, I won't even knock the door. You have to send me an invitation in writing. Well, it, listen, this is, this is official. There are four million cable viewers out there. So this is an official invite. To you hear that? Say, so invite me. <laughs> All right, I am coming. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Yeah, man, God bless. God That's bless, right. yes. Hi, this is Shelly S. And I'm standing here with Sandra A.M. Bell. Yeah. And she is the production stage manager of the International African Arts Festival. That's correct. <laughs> and just the AM, only because I'm continuing the legacy of my uh, ancestors in the arts and entertainment business. I'm from Trinidad. We come from a family of carnival movers and shakers, and I continue doing the work through the music, through dance, through production management, and my own personal art, uh, carnival costume design, etc. So how long have you been a part of this amazing festival? Uh, over 15 years. Yeah, I stopped counting, actually. We were over at Boys and Girls High for many years, and then we had a little in interruption where we were on Fulton Street for a couple of years. <laughs> and then, so now we are here in the uh, Commodore Barry Park. Yes. I remember meeting you at the uh, Walt Whitman Theater. You were also the uh, stage manager for the Mother's Day show. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wild, wild. <laughs> and we survived. <laughs> yes. But, well, it's always the outcome. And the outcome, even with the glitches, yes. the outcome is always yes. the best part. Yeah, because uh, my approach is a holistic approach. We're not talking about the artist only or the producer, but it, it's about the audience, it's about the producer, it's about the crew, it's about the artist, all together, trying to make it a win-win situation for everybody. I know a lot of people don't approach it that way, but that's the, really the, the, the right way to do a good production, so that even if you may not get all that you want, but just the way you approach things makes a real big difference in terms of how you um, uh, execute what you're doing, yes. And speaking of execution, you just came back from a trip to Cote d'Ivoire. Right, we were uh, in Abidjan and we are preparing for MASA uh, 2018, which is the largest artist, uh, I guess you could call showcase, in all of Africa. And 
uh, artists from all over the world go to Masa. It happens every two years. And they have now begun to include the uh, diaspora. So what we uh, went to do was to work out the logistics with the Masa administration. And that, and we, the we is uh, something positive. It's uh, Pagua Mass, uh, along with uh, Caribbean Fusion, which is Dane Gulston and Dirk Hayward, plus the other guys. So we're taking Juve, Trini style, Brooklyn style, Pagua style, Juve to Abidjan in 2018. Uh, right. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. And tell me about your, your project. I believe it's called Journey. Journey. Oh, my company is called Journey Agents Inc. And it, uh, it's a booking agency, artist booking, and special event production company. Yeah, we, pro we provide backstage uh, logistics uh, in terms of stage management and uh, pay, you know, catering the whole backstage operation. Yes. Sergeant, when you say holistic, yes. you mean holistic. I do. From the, from the top to the bottom, yes. That's the only way. <laughs> we want I, everybody to be happy. <laughs> I know that you're very busy keeping yeah. this thing moving. Yes. Thank you so much for your time. Yes. And we certainly would love to, to be able to speak with you. Oh yes. Again. And you gotta come to Abidjan. Oh, ab absolutely. <laughs> I will be there. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Bye to my Simba NYC TV. And this is Sandra A.M. Bell. Yes. <laughs> a force, a dynamo. <laughs> yes, God help me. I continue to have the strength and the tenacity and the guidance to do, to continue to work until I can't do it no more. <laughs> Thank you again so much. And we'll be right back. Hi, this is Shelly S. of Simba NYC TV, and I'm standing in this, I had to stop at this place. I happen to be like a closed fiend, and this place, it really spoke to me. This is called, this booth is called? Tafari Tribe. Tafari Tribe. And where are you located? We are located on 591 Flatbush, between Rutland and Midwood. And that's in Brooklyn. <laughs> I love your clothing i love the style and it's for both men and women definitely definitely it, it is and uh, we produce our own stuff uh, my daughter and, and my wife the other the, the designers so you design it you sew it it's it's all your production it is it is can i just look at and at, at some of this i want you to see some of the men things well that means Yesterday, this is definitely original Rastaman shirt. This is also one with the line of Judah. This is directly from Ethiopia. But these are one of our designs. Yeah. Uh, we have some more in the back also. You know. I love this t shirt. Yes. Yes. We have, uh, we, have, we have kind of mixed it up a little of this, a little of that, you know, a little everything. And you've been doing this fair for how oh long? Right. For, I would say over 30 years. Over 30 years, because we used to do it from boys and girls, and behind boys and girls on Fulton Street, by with the original. And and why? Why this fair? This fair is like we grew up with it, you know, and we look forward for it every year. I, I need for you to see what I'm seeing. So we're gonna. I'm, I'm gonna use some of your time again. Right, we're no gonna problem. take a look around. You tell me some, you know, about your. We have the this. umbrella. This is a sun, the sun umbrella. Because this is not for the rain. This make for the sun. Okay. All right. And we have some Bob Marley, the Bob Marley bag, the dashiki. These are from forever. It's 50 years now. And this is basically what they call the Ethiopian print. Addis Ababa print. Um, this is called the um, Haile Selassie I Inspiration. Right. Uh, uh, let me show you how, how this one is worn. You know, so you can wear it on both sides. She's always modest at the end of the dress. That is majestic. That is regal. Yes. And it's reversible? 
Already have on the pants, so I'm set. <laughs> That's it. Lovely, innovative, interesting. Oh my God. You guys put me put me put me to work today. All yes. right, all right. I love yes. it. <laughs> we needed to put we needed we needed for people to see. Exactly. To see what Tafari tribe, tribe is, all, is about. all about. Definitely. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh. I, I'm gonna leave here without any money. I'm sure about this. Hi, this is Shelly S. I was just passing by this booth and I had to stop. I had to stop. I had to literally stop because of what the words on this t-shirt, what they say, what they mean. This is this is us. Absolutely. This is me. This is you. Absolutely. This is us. That's why we do it. Yeah. Yes. And I just want you to introduce yourself and tell me about the, the whole concept for this. Okay. Well, my name is Hassan Williams. Um, and I am co-founder of Black Tag Apparel, as you see. And um, our focus is bringing you like affordable luxury with um, substance on the shirt. So every shirt that we have basically tells a story. So as you as you can see, the descriptions for each shirt come into the booth. So this is what each shirt means to us. So this right here, this is our Kunta Kente shirt. And this is the verbiage that we have that goes along with it. And then if you pan over here to the left, this is called our B shirt. And if you see the, the B shirt, is the design is in a capital B, and it's plain and simple. That's the B for the black experience. And then this one over here is for the human race as well. This is our human race flag. And um, that's our human race description. And our, last but not least, our drink water. That's self-explanatory. Us as a people need to start drinking more water and get away from the soda and um, those juices because they're killing us. This is called our black soap shirt with the black flag. Read, read what it says. So it says, I will stop wearing black when they invent a darker color. My goodness. These are absolutely beautiful. How can how can people follow you? Okay, well, our social media is um, Black Tag Apparel. You can get us on Facebook and Instagram. And we have an online store, which is blacktagapparel.com. Thank you so much for Thank bringing much us for into this, this amazing booth. I mean, I was... I'm loving it fashion-wise. Thank you. And I'm loving the fact that it, that it educates me and it says something about me Absolutely. and my people. Absolutely. Thank you so much again. Appreciate you. And it's uh, black tag apparel apparel dot com. Dot com. Yes. And we'll be right back. All right. Peace. Yes. Hi, this is Shelly S and I'm standing here with the legendary Denroy Morgan. Yes ma'am, it's a pleasure to be here. And it's a pleasure to be reasoning with you. Thank you so much. You know, lots of great music, but you know I have to mention the number one dance and R&B hit. I'll do anything for you. And that is still playing to this day. And I'm going to be playing it for you today. <laughs> Thank you so much. And not even, even with the music, you have given birth to some amazing musicians of your own, your yes. children. Of my own and also of the creator. Because yes. the original Black Eagles was not of my line, it was of the line of the Almighty. And then my children of my line. And then I exercise the same principle with these guys here you'll see today. Yes. With our children of the Almighty that we share the same vision. For those who don't know, he is the father of the Morgan Heritage, of Morgan Heritage and LMS, and LMS and that hip, the hip hop LMS. Yes, yes. Yes, at Laza. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for your time. I know you're getting ready to perform. Have a wonderful performance. Thank you. And thank you again. Thank you. Yes, this is Denver Morgan saying, when you're in New York, do like I do. I listen to Simba NYC TV. Don't move the dial. Ja, Rastafari. Yes, back. We are one.
this is Shelly S. And it is an absolute privilege to be standing here with these two men. And they have been the foundation of the International African Arts Festival. So I'm going to let them introduce themselves and tell you all about um, the vision that they had for this festival. And it's now 46 years later. Yes, good evening. Uh, my name is Dr. Shagun Shabaka. I am the current chair of the International African Arts Festival. And I've been uh, with the festival since its inception in 71. I joined the organization right out of high school uh, in 1970. And so I'm currently working on the day-to-day -day operations of the festival. My name is Mensa Wali. I'm the former chairman of the festival, and I was the artistic director for the first 30 years. So, question, why this? Because it represents the best of African culture. Uh, it's totally pan-African, it's totally self-determined, determining, independent, and uh, culture is the key to us. Uh, is the first and foremost identity. We know a people, the most defining feature of a people is its culture. And so this represents the beauty, essence of African culture. To this date, the attendance is 55,000 and, and climbing. How do you maintain the integrity of this? Well, the first thing is uh, commitment. You know, we have to be committed to do this work. And um, if we put the product together, you know, like I said, if you build it, they will come. And so we produce this product and the people have responded to it. And we see no reason why we can't continue for another 50 years. If I'm around, I'll be here. <laughs> be around. <laughs> I'll be around? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Everything yes. is possible Everything these days. Possible. Yes. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And thank you for continuing this. I mean, I, I, I can imagine what it takes to put on a project like this every year. It's a lot of work, a lot of work, but it's a labor of love. Absolutely. It's a labor of love. Absolutely, labor of love. It's love for ourselves and love for the people. Thank you again so much for your time, and um, we're going to take you around and see more of the uh, booths and more of the show. Hi, this is Shelly S, and I am here at the International African Festival and just having a blast. And I had to interview this man because I know what it's like to be a host, and I respect the job. Yes, thank you. Absolutely. So I just wanted to introduce him and let him introduce himself and tell you about the inception of the festival, how he got started, and, and just remaining consistent year after year. Well, uh, first, Adeyemi Bandeli, uh, one of the founding members of the festival. Uh, at the time, I was one of the teachers at the Uhuru Sasa School, and uh, our end-of-year program was not your normal graduation, but we had a festival on Claver Place here in Brooklyn. And um, we have continued throughout for 46 years. And as you build institutions, one of the things is longevity and the ability to pass it on to others. And so my daughter, Maya, um, became the coordinator for the children's program for many years. And my son, Lumumba, uh, stole some of my chores as host. <laughs> and, um, so tell me, how do you for the next 46 years, <laughs> hopefully, plan to keep this thing going. Just striving, passing on the word, getting people, more people involved, um, getting the word out and asking people to really take part and understand the history of the festival, where we came from, where we're trying to stay and not lose focus on who we are. Tell me about the new energy, the new blood that's going to be injected in this amazing festival? It's a good question. The festival, you know, continues to be remain relevant. It continues to remain current, um, primarily because it surrounds itself with people who are relevant and current, and the program reflects that. Um, but it, it, you know, as you said, it, it's a family affair, but, you know, the, the, the festival recognizes that the community is family. 
And right, and so we always try to make sure that the people that are within the festival are a reflection of those, the community that will be a attending as well. So there's no real separation. You know, some people who may work here one year and are attending the next and vice versa. So it's always a very uh, communal and family vibe. So. Thank you for your service to the community. Thank you for just continuing to present us every summer with this amazing festival. Festival, and the name of this band is Straight Up Band, and the music was Straight Up. Straight Up, thank you. I want you to introduce yourself. I'm and Tommy Lee. I'm the guitar player for the group Straight Up. Yes. Um, we've been together for for ten years, and we've been doing our thing. I just like to give you a testimony, if I may say so. I'm a cancer survivor. I just uh, beat cancer stage four. And then the group got back together and we got spiritually connected and God's given us a second chance to make it happen. And, and I'm glad everyone loved that what we're doing. So I just thank and give all thanks to God. And your name is? My name is J.D. Fingers. And I put the band together 10 years ago. It took me a while to find these guys. I went through countless musicians. But uh, I finally found them, a great, great group of guys. Our spirit, our love, our inspiration comes from within. It's what, you, we, it's what we thrive on. You've done something interesting while you're playing. Um, we've taken some footage of it, but I want you to explain what, where did that come from? Oh, you mean when I get that, <laughs> we call that our uh, takeoff when JD goes, everybody goes too. That's something that comes from within, within my spirit, you know, that's from my dad. I used to watch my dad play piano when I was four years old, but I had no idea I was going to play piano because I, I started playing drums first. But I fell in love with the piano. And from that point on, it's just something that, you know, it happened one day back in the 70s. So this is not something you could just teach me? Oh, oh, oh. no. <laughs> that's, that has to come from within yourself. That's something that comes from within. Your spirit, in other words, that when we play, our bodies here, we are gone. We are, we are gone. There are heights that we can't even begin to, yeah. to understand. And that's why we say when we take y'all on a journey, come with us. You'll enjoy it, trust me. It's, you know. And we did enjoy the music. What I need for you, because you know it's about social media, is to give us some social media info so that we can follow Oh yeah, you can find us on two, two websites. Um, on my website, jdfingers at yahoo.com. You can find us there, and you, should, you could also find us on the Guitar Center, G Guitar Players on our website. He has a website also. Yeah, my website is, well, it's on YouTube, Tommy Lee CTS, and also straight up at 345 Park Avenue. Most of the uh, 
gigs that we do, we put post them on YouTube, and that's how we got this gig that we're doing. And by the way, my name is Thomas Smith, but my father's name is Thomas, my mother's name is Lee, so I put their names together, and they gave me Tommy Lee. I'm not Chinese. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Beautiful performance. Loved it. <laughs> I'm not Chinese. <laughs> and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Hi, this is Shelly S. of Simba NYC TV. And this was a booth that I absolutely, absolutely had to stop by. I'm looking at these amazing healing and fashion beaded bracelets. And this is the person who runs the booth. And I want to introduce him to you. And he's going to tell you more than I can tell you about these beautiful beads. Yeah, hi. My name is Papa Hilton. Um, this is Bob Zia Intention Beads. Um, we deal with healing and fashion beaded bracelets. We use natural gemstones. And there are so many different stones. People have no idea what these stones do. There is a misconception that these stones have something to do with religion. It has nothing to do with religion. These are natural stones that God gave us. These are stones that have healing properties. Over here you see we have necklaces that have pendants. These are all stones. Most of the pendants are, are gate stones. And we also have a few tiger eye ones like this one here. We also have the um, bracelets. Now, the most common stones that people ask for, hematite, amethyst, clear quartz, these are stones that when you want to get into these things you start off with. We also deal with the chakra colors here. There are seven chakras, the root chakra, the circle chakra, the solar plexus one, the heart, the throat, third eye, crown chakra. So we have bracelets that are linked to these chakras. And we also have bracelets that have all the chakra colors. I just advise people, there are some good books out there, like there's one called the Pocket um, Stone Book. You can get it from Amazon. Read about these stones. They have physical properties, they have emotional ones, they have things to do with stress. Birthstones all come from here. So you know what your birthstone is? Just Google it, let Google be your best friend. There's so much information out there. Find out what your birthstone is, read about it. If you have any questions, you can always reach us. You can reach us 917-660-4032 or 240-426-1392. Hi, this is Shelly S. And again, walking by, looking, wanted to show you some more beautiful things. And these are children's clothing made out of great African fabric. And the name of the booth is? Monique Af Monique African Couture. This is your grandma. This is your grandmother. And um, she's going to assist by translating. Okay? So what I'd like to know is, what made you start designing children's clothing? So what I fait commencer pour faire les designs pour enfants. So what I fait mon jeune âge. Depuis que je suis petite, c'est moi-même qui fais mes. Since she was a little girl, she started to do stuff and so so she wanted to do stuff for kids like her too. And so she's been doing this since she was a little girl? Yes. And I'm sure you've had some very pretty stuff in your time. Yes. <laughs> so when did she start going to fairs and letting other people see this great work? Elle demande ce qu'on doit commencer pour venir à les choses comme ça, les festivals, pour monter tous les autres. Aux États-Unis, ça fait 12 ans que je suis dedans. J'ai toujours été invité par tous les festivals des 52 États ici aux États-Unis. She said that it's been her 10th year now, and lots of festivals have been asking her to come, and that all the states really want her to come to show her work. It is absolutely beautiful. Let her know that I think it's beautiful stuff. Merci beaucoup. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Ce que je fais, c'est un don de Dieu. She said thank you. Everything she does is a gift from God. 
Did so how can people reach out to you if you know maybe a phone number or do you have a email any of those things yes oh. we have the billboard up there yes yes and good I also have a card now you are originally from the Ivory Coast. Okay. One of the things I love about this is that this festival is so multicultural. You know, Ivory Coast, we've met people from Ghana, so it's an absolute pleasure meeting the both of you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Tell her what I said. I dit que y a beaucoup de gens ici de les différents cultures, y a gens de Ghana, Togo, tout les choses. Nous les de Ivory Coast. Et puis elle veut dire que c'est joli et puis elle aime tout et puis. Merci beaucoup. Je suis très heureuse d'attendre ça. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Que Dieu bénisse mon pays, la Côte d'Ivoire. Que Dieu bénisse les États-Unis. And and God bless you too. <laughs> Hi, this is Shelly S at the African Festival. Anybody who knows me knows I'm a shopaholic. Can't resist an outfit. And I was stopping by, walking by I should say, and I had to stop. I had to stop and look at these beautiful clothing. And this is the designer of the clothing and his name is Kwame. Kwame Wuku. My name is Kwame Wuku. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, you, you, you seem silent, but you know, in order to do these things, there's a loud creative force inside of you. So tell us about some of these beautiful clothing. Okay, most of these beautiful clothing, though professionally I'm a sculptor and a painter. So most of the things that you see here are wearable arts and most of them are 100% recycling. Yeah, because that recycle is the future, anyway, that's where we're going. So you could see that everything here is one of a kind too. And it takes time to create and uh, bring the whole uh, things into perspective. To extend that you have to dis disconstruct the, the, the materials, cut them into pieces, treat them, and put them together. So it becomes some weird. So after you finish, Obi, it becomes something like a one of a kind. No, that. <laughs> so let's have your social media info so that we can share it yeah, by with others. Means. Yeah, okay, my social info, Instagram, you can find me at Africa Origins, Africa spelled with K, and Origins, and my Facebook is Kwame Wuku, and my face page, I have a Facebook and a face page or uh, Africa origins so you can find me or if you want to email me African origins at gmail.com you can find me yeah so and my phone number too if, if, you, if want, you would if, like if, if you would if you like my phone number is 330-931-6916 thank you so much you I welcome. mean again beautiful beautiful stuff thank you very much thank you
guest of Simba NYC TV, and I'm backstage with an amazing dance group, Bambada. And sitting next to me is the artistic director and the founder. And I'm just going to let them introduce themselves and tell you about their amazing dance group. High energy performance, wonderful, a tribute to our ancestors. I was just blown away. Thank you, thank you. Well, you know what? I think we should start at the beginning. So I'm gonna give it to, I'm gonna give it to you. Uh, how you guys doing? Uh, I'm Joe Barnes, founder and director of Bombardier Drum and Dance. I was proud of them today, you know, they, you know, everyone came up and they came out, you know, I always say they showed up and they showed up, you know, so I was very happy. How can we follow you? Um, any the social media info? Uh, We're on Facebook um, and um, it's Bamba the Drum Dance at AOL. Thank you so much. I mean, it was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And we are certainly going to follow you. You think it's too late for me to start dancing? Never too late. <laughs> it's never too late. As long as you have a heartbeat and a pulse, you can dance. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, and you know I'm just walking around and meeting people, and um, I think I just made a friend. Yes, yes, you did. <laughs> so you're here, and um, you're just enjoying the festivities. Yes, we are. I mean, we're having a lovely good time. The music, the food, the whole everything. It's just, it's just wonderful. So it's a great day where we do it. You know, go through experience and sharing our culture and you know, and just embracing it. Yes. And it's a good day for family. I see you brought your baby out. It's a day for family. Yes, exactly. It's a good day to, you know, to have a family here. It's, it's a wonderful day. If not, you know, it's not having a picnic or a cookout. It's just a wonderful place to be here. Do you have something to say? <laughs> say, I, May, maybe not yet. Say, I had a <laughs> I had a good time. You had a good time? Yeah, with mommy yes. and grand, grandpappy. Oh, yeah. I see. And you know what? Since I, I've been looking around and you have been waving that flag from 3 o'clock this afternoon. And why are you waving this flag? Because I love this festival, you know? I love this festival and I love my people and I just wanted them to know, you know, just showing the presence of Garvey and all of our ancestors that ever live and do great things and enjoy great music, especially the ones that actually came to this festival. You know, great 
brothers like Dr. Ben and Dr. John Henry Clark and so many of our great ones that actually was here. So I'm here. I'm thankful to be here. I go wave my banner. I go yes, and here. wave your banner high. And let's just celebrate us. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And this is about cultural awareness and letting young people know that black people can be superheroes. That's right. And I just want to give off a little fact because black people are the original superheroes instead of these, instead of the so-called um, superheroes. So basically, we are the original superheroes. So um, when they're coming off of Wonder Woman, they're actually trying to put their self inside the image of I, I think it was my eye I don't know I forgot yes yes comedic comedic hero and and a few other people yes that I can't really mention right now because I actually forget their names that's okay. so that's all from my memory I could give off right now and back to you that was beautiful back to me <laughs> absolutely well uh, my name is Akeem Shea Brown I am a artist, I am a writer, illustrator, I uh, have a company called Sequoia Productions and what I do with my company is I create, basically I story tell and I like to do it through uh, superheroes and sci-fi and all those kind of things but at the end of the day I'm an African so I have to do it through African culture as well so it's a combination of all those things you know so if you look at all the other types of movies and sci-fi things that are out there you don't think about it but they're all European based and there's nothing wrong with that but if you live in the African culture, we need our own heroes as well. One of our key products is the Emoja Force coloring book. Now what this is, is a basic coloring book, an activity book, but it also has a comic book story within it. And within this book, it talks about a group that is called the Emoja Force. They're from four different parts of the African continent, and they come together to fight a super uh, separating African people. So Emoja Force, you think about the word Emoja being unity, this, these are the uh, young superheroes that can bring us all together. So I think this is definitely good for young readers and people who are young of heart as well. We're our own saviors and our own heroes. Absolutely. You know, don't look any further. Look in the mirror. Yeah, that's right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Where are you from? Well, I live here in Brooklyn, but originally I was born in Haiti. Same here. I was born in Haiti. Where's, where's this state? Brooklyn. I'm from Harlem. Harlem is the house. Harlem. Harlem is the house. Can I just say, like, why are you guys there and not here? Okay, the food is here, the clothes, the jewelry. You're in the wrong place. So rush. You got about what? 30 minutes. Come, come. <laughs> Oh man, it is such a beautiful experience and you feel the love, the togetherness, oh, yeah. you know. So, we'll see you next year. Yes. Yes. See you next year. Yes. See you next year. And you too? Yes, with her feet up. <laughs> and I was just walking through the crowd and met this wonderful woman. And um, I just wanted to, for her to just share why she's here today and a little bit about herself. Hi everybody, my name is Awa Sango, the golden voice of Mali, and I am a singer, I'm an activist, and I performed here two years ago, but I'm just here as a family member of the African festival, and I love this festival. Just love to be around here, around the good vibes, that's why I'm here today. And you know what, you can feel the love. You can feel it, right? Oh man, I have this love on me. I just carry it and give it to everybody I meet when I walk. And you know what? When you do that, they love you back in return. They do, of course. Let me tell you something. The smile, it's very, very beautiful and free. When you give it to somebody, yes. you made his day. Yes. So that's why I share and carry and share it. Absolutely. So, you know what, we just want to thank you for your time because I know that there's so much to see and so much to do. My pleasure. Yes. If the people want to know more about Awa, because they say in Bambala, they say in Africa, the honey is sweet, but he don't, he don't knowledge himself. The one who eat it, knowledge it. So the people can go and find out awasango.com, Instagram, and my album on iTunes and Amazon. And what's the name of the album? Alata, which the truth belongs to God.
Alataye Tunya, but Alata is easy. Awa, A W A S A N G as in girl H O. Dot com. And your Instagram and Facebook Instagram, is? Instagram, Sango Music, Facebook, Sango, and all of that. I'm, I don't do Twitter. I'm not fast that much. <laughs> so, with just that, two pieces of social media, we can follow you. You can find me all over yeah. the place. Just Google my name, the yes. full name. Okay. And could you spell that? Because, you know, sometimes people hear different things. A-W-A, -A, which is our S. A, N as in Nancy, G as in girl, H O. Our Sango. Very easy. Our Sango. It was an absolute pleasure meeting you. Enjoy the rest of the, the, the day here. And um, Namaste. Our, my Simba NYC TV viewers, they're very faithful. So follow our Sango. And we'll be right back. Hi, this is Shelly S. Yes, and I have found a remarkable person of interest. And this is Dr. Fred Munderson. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about you, Dr. Fred. Well, I'm, um, I'm a, originally from Guyana. I've lived in Brooklyn for about 50 years. Uh, I'm a writer. I've written over a thousand pieces for the black press in New York City. I have written four books on President Obama. Uh, I've written um, actually stepped out of my realm yes. of as an Egyptologist, African historian, to write uh, those Obama books and books on black nationalism. To. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for your, uh, thank you for sharing uh, your wonderful like work with me. So that, um, and we'll be right back. Hi, this is Shelly S. We have interviewed artists, we've interviewed some of the dance performers, we've interviewed people who've been uh, just festival goers. But this is the most important person, and I say that with all sincerity. When you have clarity, good quality sound, it's because of this man. This is the sound engineer who makes this all possible. And I want to introduce him, and his name is Kwame. Yes, Kwame Shah of All Mobile Productions. Uh, we've been doing this festival full time since uh, we first came to this park. That was in 2006. And we've grown with the festival. Our company has grown with the festival. We're doing sound in South Carolina now as well. So we're exactly what we say. We are all mobile productions. We have sound. We'll travel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you've been here all four days. Actually, we've been here all five days. It'll be six because uh, we have to come back tomorrow. We have to take the lights down, stage down, and all that. We're taking some things out tonight, but uh, we come back tomorrow morning and get the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Tell me what this festival means to you. You've been doing it for quite some time, yet you come back every year. What does this mean to you? Well, my father brought me to the very first two that were on Claver Place, because he knew a lot of the musicians. He played with a lot of the musicians. He was a, a, a master keyboard player. And from that point, I, I was just, you know, totally excited about seeing African culture in, in, in real life. And I just kept coming to the festival, kept coming to the festival. And at, at some point, I just said, one day I want to work for this festival. That's us, that's us. And of course, when you, you know, hold you up, say up. something, you speak it into existence, you can continue to picture it, then um, it manifests. Yes. I know you're very busy. It's time to wrap up. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, but I felt that this was important thank to be able to talk with you. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad that, you know, folks have decided, you know, sometimes take a look at what happens behind the scenes. We really appreciate it. I got to thank my crew. They've done a lot. I have, I have two of my sons working with us. Um, this is one of them. So this, this is this, about family. Yeah, this is about pa family. Passing this, on. this is PJ. Yes. We're training him. Uh, my other son, uh, Kofi, is up on deck someplace or inside. And uh, we also trained some interns. This young man inside there, he, uh, his name is Sadiq, and another man, young man named Kumar. Uh, Kumar just graduated. Uh, he just graduated from from college, and Sadiq just graduated from high school. So we try to get the young folks involved with this. Just you know, it's just as important. They get the training. They you know get a chance to see what goes on and. This can launch careers for them as well. So, so in a, in about the next 20 years, I'll come back and meet Sadiq. Kumar. Kumar. Yes, Kumar. Yeah, Sadiq. Hi. hi. I'm PJ. Um, my name is Penty Sims, but they call me PJ. And, uh, and, I'm, and I'm Scooter. That's, that's, that's Scooter PJ, Love. PJ Scooter Love. Mr. Kevin Banks. He's been with me for so many years. Uh, since since DJ days, but you know he's hanging tough with us, and so this is part of my crew. Yep. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Thank you very it. much. Right. Take care.
and we're out. Show with Chubby S Entertainment. <laughs>